Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. As of right now, this video is in the alpha stage. This video is for entertainment purposes solely and not as financial advice. The reason for this is that the markets will be the main focus of today's video. What's going to happen? Perhaps, that's fine. These are simply the things we've noticed. What are your thoughts? Right off the bat Dobbs, the CEO of BlackRock, wait what has to be a demonstration of faith in the financial system as a whole. Guys, please hear me out. Funny thing is, it seems like the big players are starting to validate what we've been saying all along, that these folks start dumping guys before the collapse occurs, of course aren't going to dump a day before the collapse. Why? People will finally understand why everything had to happen at once. Picture everyone being dumped the day before the building collapses. They'll be charged with illegal insider trading. My guess is that their strategy include a gradual sale of assets prior to a collapse. BlackRock CEO Oz Fink has provided the following statement. You may see for yourself that a total of 35,000 shares were sold for X dollars. In my estimation, he would have made roughly $25 million in profit off of 33,000 sales. However, to a select few, this sum of money is peanuts in comparison to this. On July 26, 2023, he made the sale. Wait a minute, someone said, even if he sells off 35,000 shares, he'll still have 450,000 in his portfolio. Wow. It's safe to assume he still has plenty of self-assurance, given that he still has over $3 million in equity. Right. So, this is intriguing to say the least. Okay. To what effect? What will happen over the next year or two as his sales gradually increase? Right? The CEO of Spotify lost $100 million. Hmm, isn't that interesting to you guys? Right. Very interesting, very. Interestingly, you all seem to believe that the CEO of BlackRock is completely in the dark about what's going on. Naturally, he is. More than. Any other CEO at Walmart, the Walton family dumped $4.39 billion worth of stock during the first half of 2023. If so, why? Right? These investors are beginning to unload their holdings. If so, then why? Is it because they have foreseen the impending collapse? Right? That's the deal, fellas. What do I anticipate happening now? I think we'll be pumping, that's my opinion, however, and I think we should pump. After we've pumped the brakes, the devastating recession and depression arrive simultaneously in the first half of 2023. The bankruptcy filings of three ACS companies represent a 13-year high, that's fascinating, right? Right? More companies are filing for bankruptcy, and when the inevitable crash happens, that's it. More of these things are bound to happen before it actually begins, goddess. We continue to see bank failures and other such events. This is perfectly okay. Right? There is no need to worry. There at the Federal Reserve, Fed Chair Jerome Powell says the economy is doing okay. Put your mind at ease. You do realize that they will continue to use the word literally till the very end, right? Think back to when they made that claim. Is that what you name it? Inflation is just temporary. It will only be around for a brief period of time. Right? Take a look at this. So, uh, recession? Nothing unusual here at all. Right. This sums up all the red flags. These are the indications to look out for before that day when everything comes to a head. An additional one that started eating in January of 2008, with the first one occurring in July of 2023. Let's rewind to Monday, January 17, 2008. They claim the Fed doesn't expect a recession. Okay. Take a look at what transpired in the subsequent two years or so. Right. The real estate market bubble burst. What do they know now? Take a look at the comments below. July 26, 2023. 
Powell has stated that the Fed's role in recession prediction has ended. Wow, that's unique. Once again, you guys are hilarious. The strategy, then, is crystal clear. They intend to deceive the populace into acting against their own best interests. Now, envision a scenario in which cryptocurrency prices surpass those of the stock market. What causes that effect, exactly? When that happens, how will it affect shoppers' mindsets at stores? Oh, we're going to keep on the ascent. Don't forget that the economy isn't saying or telling how the US the stock market isn't a reliable indicator of economic health, right guys? You do realize that there is a discrepancy here if the stock market is headed for a new high and the economy is not. Let's chat immediately about Bitcoin right now. After that, we'll get to the meat of the story. According to the video on how we'll most likely move up first, Bitcoin has consistently dropped below its bull market support band in August and September of pre-healthy years, right before the eclipse comes. This is typical given that SPS tend to correct around August-September of the year before an election. Oh, and the elections are next year as well, right, guys? Consider this. You are correct in your assessment. The true issue is whether or not they will allow the markets to crash just before the elections. Or maybe sometime later. Most people now think we're going to hold this rally till the next election takes place. But some individuals think the market might actually dump, collapse, and drop in price immediately before the elections. It's clear who will be at fault if the team falls apart before the election, hint, it's not Joe Biden and who will be called in to clean up the mess. Right, Donald J. Trump. As a result, everything keep your wits about you, boys, since you never know what can happen. Right? I don't think we'll dump Bitcoin anytime in the next few months, but this chart shows how we might if we're really stupid. Okay, so I take it we're going up. But remember, guys, that's just my viewpoint. If money were no object, you could think whatever you wanted. Now, before we get to XRP, here's another Bitcoin discussion, and it's a good one, so you guys should pay attention. It's a technical violation known as the housing that usually heralds the beginning of a bull run for a Bitcoin and quotes, and CNBC is presently live reporting on the event. The mainstream media is finally covering Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, and they're starting to sound enthusiastic, guys. Keep in mind that you should take the exact opposite tack when the media is bullish. But hold on a second. Currently, I am unable to think. Remember back in 2001 when everyone was your fork except you? That's when you want to be bearish when the media and everyone's grandmas, cats, and dogs are so bullish. If you take a pessimistic view, people would likely dismiss you as a short-term trader. If you come out as bearish and go against the crowd, you should expect a backlash. A level head is required before investing, as evidenced by CNBC's article on Bitcoin and the 24 housing, which typically heralds the beginning of a bull run. New, incredible hands won't appear until season 24, right? Since we can't move until the apartments are ready. You have fallen in with a group of people who are often incorrectly assumed to be right. I assume that this year we'll see Bitcoin reach fresh record highs. It's possible that this year is the year. Now that the moment has come, let's get ready for the inevitable connection to XRP. The strategy, then, is crystal clear. This is simply what I think. New record highs for the stock market and cryptocurrency prices are likely. Absolutely, in my opinion. When confidence is at an all-time high, they'll pull the rug out from under everyone. After everyone had gone to bed. No one can possibly be sleeping, though. Right? For the simple reason that half the planet will be fast sleeping while the other half is wide awake. Isn't it fascinating? The XRP chart is now available in the Queensgate suite. This graph is quite interesting. It's really mind-blowing to me how good-looking this guy is. This is something completely new to me. Not in my opinion. We expect XRP to break out to a new high. 
When you step back, you can see the potential double bottom ascending trial and triangle emerging over the course of six months. Right here we see the result of compressing something, making it bigger. What do you see, fellas? Alright, this chart is absolutely stunning. So. First things first, you guys do realize that these are six monthly candles for XRP USD? What a crazy thing to do. The long-term trend here is really bonkers. This is a six-month discussion, after all. Is it true that each candle stands for six months? You guys have 612 and it still keeps going, right? So, with all these candles, we are transported back in time many, many years. This is why the pattern or charts at play are so massive. The term ascending triangle describes this shape perfectly. Right? This pattern also frequently breaks fill to the upside. Right? Not until late in the day do they frequently crash into each other. Right? Occurs often only 5% in advance of time. If not this year, but surely the next. Progress is being made it would be amazing if XRP were to break through and then proceed to set new records, right? A 6 times chart looks like this. How insane is that? Definitely so. However, at the same time, 5 events take place, which is encouraging. Someone posted that they enjoy giving away Sarpy coins freely. There were formerly only 1.3 billion XRP tokens, but there are currently 50 billion. Right? The market value increases over time, but then they dump all of their coins. There can only be 100 billion of these in existence, right? For the past decade, they have been giving away free money to everyone else. XRP, you guys, this is insane. Okay. Wrong. The initial supply of XRP tokens was 100 billion, not 1 billion, with 80 billion going to the firm and 20 billion each to the three founders. Last year, Jed McCaleb completed selling all of his tokens. And that information is available on the theme, finding the source of his claims cost him 10 wallets. Currently, escrow holds almost $50 billion. Which is essential as waves. The purpose of the ripple of responses is achieved. This is not a good currency for the near term. Exactly. Interesting. Further, fellas, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that XRP is the only asset available with actual. What? Here we have clarity. Right. People are stating he doesn't understand what XRP is right now, as evidenced by the comments section. Exactly. Those who don't investigate often make themselves appear ignorant. Right? There is a mountain of false information floating around out there about XRP, so be careful out there. But I can't explain why, right? For the same reason, I find this coin to be quite unique. I mean, if we can just make it to age 25, this guy says, we'll be considered legends already, right? We only have to weather or endure through the store, not financial company, so we need to be prepared, but it was a hassle for us. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.